Hello, Paul Arwitter with Medscape Infectious Diseases and uh, speaking from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. Monkeypox uh, joins uh, the legion of uh, occasional emerging infectious diseases that uh, as an infectious diseases consultant, we have to become uh, at least familiar with, even if we've never uh, seen it personally and uh, consider it uh, when the occasion arises. Uh, monkeypox is a member of the uh, orthopox virus family, the same as smallpox, uh, generally a milder infection but causes very similar diseases of which I think uh, certainly I've never seen uh, clinically with the exception of one laboratory acquired case of generalized vaccinia in a lab worker many years ago that we diagnosed by electron microscopy. Uh, the current situation with monkeypox has uh, certainly been in the news uh, recently following an outbreak that as of late May has at least 260 cases in 19 countries, including many European countries, also Argentina and Australia, but also here in the United States with at least uh, six uh, states reporting infections, including California, New York, Massachusetts, uh, and Florida. Uh, now, uh, monkeypox is uh, something that we've seen before uh, in the U.S. in 2003. Uh, there was an outbreak of 71 suspected or confirmed cases that were traced to the importation of Gambian giant rat, squirrel, or dormice that had spread to prairie dogs that were subsequently sold as pets. But um, 18 people were hospitalized, but no deaths, certainly uh, suggesting a milder illness than the higher mortality seen with smallpox. Now, uh, monkeypox, uh, we don't know uh, a lot about it, but uh, although it can reside in monkeys and be transmitted uh, by that pathway, the thought is it uh, probably has a reservoir more in uh, rodents. Um, also, uh, acquisition uh, uh, to humans could be from handling infected animals, uh, transmission through skin or mucous membranes, but also thought to be uh, droplet related, large droplets, uh, because this is a large DNA virus and uh, not probably prone to aerosolization. The current outbreak uh, now and here in 2022 uh, um, isn't exactly clear, but there's been uh, descriptions in Europe that uh, 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 that uh, certain social networks, such as, for example, uh, men who have sex with men, may be contributing to the spread, and therefore uh, it needs to be considered also in uh, the spectrum of perhaps an STD when we're evaluating patients. Uh, from acquisition to acquiring uh, uh, symptoms can range from five to 21 days with a one to two week average. And the initial infection uh, is indeed just a, uh, a viral like prodrome, sometimes with a sore throat or oral lesions, uh, with a rash that typically begins one to three days later. Initially, a, a viral type exanthem that's nonspecific uh, with uh, flat uh, to macular uh, papular lesions that subsequently become nodular, umbilicated, or pustulovisical. Uh, before uh, crusting. Uh, they classically occur on the face and then spread elsewhere to the body with involvement in the palms and soles, which certainly makes it different uh, from other uh, things that might be on your differential, such as chicken pox. You may have some lymphadenitis uh, as well. Uh, and uh, the d differential diagnosis, I think, uh, of course, comes up with uh, zoster or uh, primary infection with varicella, uh, but other pox infections, of course, cowpox or wharf, um, smallpox, uh, if there's a bioterror event, um, uh, but uh, maybe should be considered if you're thinking of measles or STIs such as syphilis, HSV, or chancroid. Now, how to diagnose it um, is uh, uh, unfortunately not straightforward. Uh, commercial or your health system laboratory won't be able to make the diagnosis. So you need to contact your local or state health department. And uh, there are links uh, below this uh, uh, video 
uh, for the CDC uh, monkeypox site where uh, there are specimen collection information uh, for getting uh, direct skin lesion material uh, for PCR analysis that can help confirm. Uh, now, <clears throat> uh, generally, uh, the skin is where you see most of this infection occasionally if it's severe with patients with elevated fever or uh, more than 100 lesions, especially in children, can be quite uh, uh, awful and include pneumonitis, uh, but uh, may need to also consider proctitis if there is a, uh, a transmission uh, a bisexual route. In terms of treatment, uh, there's no approved treatments and most have been lifted from smallpox. Uh, which uh, uh, there are now two FDA-approved oral drugs that seem to have broad in vitro um, uh, pox virus activity, and that's uh, ticoviramat, uh, which is FDA-approved for smallpox in uh, adults and children, also brencidofavir, a uh, variant of cidofavir, uh, which also uh, uh, can be used in uh, uh, people uh, as young as the neonatal age range. Uh, other modalities could include um, a vaccine at immune globulin, hoping that there's cross reactivity. Uh, in terms of prevention, uh, there is uh, the smallpox vaccine available on limited supply, but also a, a modified vaccine that has fewer side effects uh, than typical vaccine virus, and that goes by the trade name of Genios, uh, available in very limited supply, but if you have a case of potential contacts, might be considered, or even as adjuvant uh, therapy, someone who's infected. Uh, there's nothing uh, well known or described. There's a handful of case reports and a nice study out of the UK uh, summarizing uh, experience uh, with monkeypox and some of these newer uh, treatments, but uncertain whether they had the uh, impact on uh, outcomes or resolution of illness quick, more quickly, uh, given the limited number of data points. So uh, all uh, things that I think will continue to evolve, uh, certainly it sounds like this is uh, the largest outbreak of monkeypox to date and um, definitely bears watching. Uh, many uh, have opined that they don't think this will become uh, significant at a very large public health uh, standpoint, uh, but uh, certainly bears watching and consideration um, by ID consultants so in evaluating certain uh, patient types. So uh, thanks so much for listening. Hope this is helpful and uh, as well as uh, the background information if you need more. Thank you.